What's that? I slid up like this. It's like, f This is impressive. It's supposed to be like a score clock. What are you talking about? The color. Look at the score clock. It's just like, f Now I see how, why people are impressed by this. Don't act like you're not impressed. That's all I gotta say about that. Episode 2 of The Snapshot. Thank you guys for spending time with us. We got Vanna White here with our Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave Steins. We did these Steins and we were the only ones that bought anything on our store. <laughs> You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> um, this goes out to everybody who tuned in, you know, entered the contest, took part, and you know, we're on episode two, so uh, I'm waiting to do this. Cheers. Timing. As I'm on go beer inside this tub. <laughs> but I have to say, these steins are probably one of the coolest and, things. And I didn't buy it. Jordy gave me this as a gift, so. Yeah. So it was win-win all the way around for me. He bought it. He bought it. In episode. Hold it. Am I on? All these mics are on? Okay, I'm good. I'm good. No, okay. Enough, okay? This is inappropriate and it stops right now. Okay, are you done? Okay. okay. This episode, and we are going to be giving away a hockey sauce kit. Jordy, roll some cinematic thing on the hockey sauce kit here. You guys can win a hockey sauce kit uh, just by following the details in the description that are below. Um, check them out at hockeysaucekit.com. The best, the best backyard game you guys will find. One thing we get asked a lot is, can you guys please do tours of the caves? Ken's made over 100 plus hockey stick creations in the caves. We built this building in our backyard because it was so expensive to go to an NHL game over in Vancouver. We live in Victoria and Vancouver Island. So we brought the game to us essentially. We have eight TVs in here, uh, two bars, three fridges, uh, seats, 35 people crowded, 21 comfortably. We've got the whole floor is done in hockey sticks. The outside deck is done in hockey sticks. Hockey stick, hockey helmet lights above the bar, coach's corner, score clock, a real life Zamboni we own. It goes on and on and on. If you, you have to check it out to believe it. Labor of love, hardly anything is store bought. It's all made. And, Every team, there's players, there's teams from the UK Elite League, there's women's hockey, there's no bounds. The only thing that kind of you know restrains the cave is it's just gotta be hockey. And that, that's what makes it so special. It's not store-bought, it's made by the memories Good and point. the stories. That's the same sentiment we wanted to have when we started this show. We don't care if it's you know popular content creators or big businesses, small businesses. The same thing that put, brings us together is the glue, which is our love for hockey. Did you know? that if you enter the offensive zone before the puck, that's called offside. Except if you're Matt Duchesne. <laughs> what we're trying to do is give away something in every episode. This is the best day of my life. This week is a hockey sauce kit. Last week we gave away three pairs of our blade shades, our hockey stick sunglasses. Goalie Ken's ones. got the Vesna goalie ones. I got the blood ones here. You guys can check them out at bladeshades.com. Polarized, non-polarized. We got a bunch of stuff on the way. And here are the winners for last week's episode. We've got Pistol Pete. So Pistol Pete was the only person on our YouTube that watched the video and followed the rules. Way to go, Pistol Pete. Did. Well done. Second winner of our blade shades from our first episode of the snapshot is Peyton Ontario or Peyton O-N-T underscore 
61 from Instagram. Told you guys we're gonna be picking from multiple channels, multiple platforms. Go Peyton. Congratulations, Peyton ONT underscore 61. You're gonna be picking a pair of your blade shades that are coming to you. Last but not least is a winner from Facebook, our Facebook group, Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave. Uh, is Peter Luke Gerard. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Congratulations to all three winners. It's as simple as... What was that, Mike? I asked him to prepare uh, I just... for our show, and this is what he does. Yeah. All right, carry on, okay. Congratulations to the three winners. Let's move on. This person is the company that we refer because Ken does not sell any of his hockey stick creations that you see. When people ask if they can buy stuff from us, we send them to Stick and Bits. Send them to Stick and Bits. So Ken gives a signed, sealed, deliver of approval. If you guys are looking for hockey stick creations, look at the details below. Stick and Bits creation. She's in the UK. There might be some shipping stuff. Well, she's uh, amazing. Uh, we always send people to her quality quality work. I mean, I've become too attached to the stuff that I make. She's really good at her craft and uh, she's got the proper tools and, and she's a wonderful person. So I, I really reach out to her to, to get a product like that. If you guys are looking for a great hockey stick gift, yeah. Stick and Bits is where you want to go because if you sent us a DM asking this guy pick his well, brain. Yeah. For our Razor Cup segment, um, I came across these guys, their name's Dogs Dog Nation Hockey and they've been doing a lot of good things out in the hockey world. Um, so I reached out to him. I wanted to make sure I got all the information, get the real understanding of the scope of the amazing things they're doing out in the hockey world. So, and we're gonna give Mike, uh, Mike Freeman, and he's the executive director of Dog Nation Hockey. We're gonna give him a call right now. Hey guys. Hey Mike, it's uh, it's a Jordy and Ken here from the Ultimate Hockey Fan Cave. How's it going? Yeah, good, how are you guys? In our show, we want to feature someone, hopefully bring some awareness and attention to the great work that's going on. Uh, I came across, I think it was the post about Axel, or Ax, I think is his name, and yep. and yep. Uh, the whole journey and stuff that he, uh, you know, has been on, and, and all the amazing stuff you guys are doing with the shirts, and and so we have this segment where we, you know, really want to showcase amazing, amazing foundations that are, you know, aren't getting the ESPN spotlight. Our this week's episode, we wanted to feature you guys and your work and everything that you do for what we call the raise the cup segment oh that'd be great guys really appreciate it we've been around for about 10 years and so in that 10 years we've given families in need 1.8 million dollars that's amazing yeah. wow that's a oh wow thank you for that that's a lo lot of good change in the world well done you know our mission is all about helping you know fam hockey families in need you know, families in need, really, but there's usually, you know, some hockey connection, right? So getting people aware of child cancer. So it's really about not only helping people financially, but really kind of walking alongside them in their journey, right? So having you guys there able to kind of step in and kind of fill either financial or even uh -huh. a, an emotional need or that's a good. systemic need of going through these processes and appointments and everything. That's gotta be the ultimate assist. Absolutely, and then we have a lot of stories like that where, like, there was a big story, you know, out of out of Colorado here where a flight nurse went down. His name was Dave Repture. He uh, was burned over 95% of his body, or 90% of his body, and uh, was not projected to live. And we stepped in and we met with his wife and said, "Let us help you, and let's keep you. Our goal is going to be to keep you by his side, so that." You can be whispering in his ear, and you can be there, and not have to return to work. So, over the course of time, we probably gave them about two hundred fifty thousand dollars in assistance. For the uh, the crash, Dave was very much into hockey. He would get up at five thirty in the morning to go skate before a shift, and uh, his uh, hockey team, all great friends, and I knew that, but. Coming together with the support of the community from the hockey world, um, it's they're all very special people. And on a daily basis, we, Dave and I, are just so humbled by the love and support that's coming our way. It's so special, yeah. and we are just so appreciative. And Dave is thriving today. And uh, matter of fact, our last pond hockey tournament up at Silverthorne where we had 50 teams, he was out there helping us clear the ice every day. 
My Eight God. hours a day. That's amazing. Minus 10 degrees. Fingers are burned off. But he's out there and he's hosting the tournament, you know, with us. Co-hosting the tournament. That's unbelievable. So, My God. And God. then we're building a... We're building about a $38 million uh, three-sheet ice rink out here in Colorado for the disabled athletes. I'm pleased to announce today that we have joined Castle Pines and many of Colorado's leading companies to build a facility that breaks down traditional barriers faced by disabled athletes and create an environment that puts everybody on an equal playing field. Pledge, Canada, Pledge guys here are really the inspiration for this rink. So it's gonna be a fully accessible rink for these guys that uh, can, you know, change in the locker room on synthetic ice, wow. skate right out to the rink without that uh, oh, wow. uh, impediment to get onto the ice. Wow. Wow. Hearing you guys busting your ass and and yeah. and I was at one point somewhat million dollars for hockey families and people in the hockey world that need this help. Like that's the stuff that needs to be spotlight. It needs more of a focus. You guys, you guys got to check out our silent auction because you might find some uh, things on there for your cave. We have some amazing, amazing items. Yeah. So the Sport Dog Nation Hockey Foundation. You go to www.dognationhockey.org be amazing well take care and we'll okay. be in touch very soon okay mike take care buddy okay, sounds good thanks guys appreciate it good talking to you so the legends at dog nation hockey foundation have been doing such great work hopefully you guys consider supporting them we learned a lot about what they're doing all the great work please consider going and checking them out and there's only one thing left to do and, and that is raise, raise the, the cup. cup cheers boys keep up the great work my cup is bigger. <sighs> Thank you for joining uh, the yeah, se like second, episode. second episode of Snap the Snapshot. No, I forgot what it's called. The Snapshot. Is it the Snapshot? Okay. No, you didn't. Thank you for joining us for the second episode of the Snapshot. There's only one thing left to say, and that is keep giving Planet Earth an assist. Are you not going to talk about like our contest that's going on? Maybe follow us on social media, like no, Facebook, no, YouTube. No, that's your job. <laughs> Go enter the Hockey Sauce Kick contest. We're giving it away. Go support them. The best backyard game there is. This is probably the last time I let Ken do the outro, but... I forget. I'm old. I'm old. Make sure you guys keep giving Planet Earth an assist. We'll see you next shift, and keep thinking outside the crease. Oh, oh. That was better. <laughs> that, that was, was better. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good job. Yeah, yeah. from Dogs Nation Hockey? Dogs Nation. Right. Dogs Nation oh, Hockey. Foundation. Foundation. <laughs> that might be the ending. I'm just trying it is. to figure I it out. I think it is. You heard some amazing stuff here from Hockey Dogs Nation. Dogs oh. Nation. Dogs Nation. Dogs Nation. Dogs Nation. Dogs Nation. Dogs Nation Hockey Foundation. There you go. It's a freaking mouthful, but they do good work.